Hello guys, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into example 13 from chapter 5 called Arithmetic Progression. So let's see what exactly is given in example 13. Now moving on to example 13, it is given that how many terms of the AP 24, 21, 18 must be taken so that their sum is 78. Again, it looks like this question is a very easy one because we need to determine up to what terms uh, or how many terms we need to add so that we can get 78. Now, let us see how we can solve this question. Solution. So guys, uh, this, co this question that we are going to do is really easy. But the thing is that we need to understand otherwise it will uh, become com complicated. So the question is asking like how many terms of the AP 24, 21, 18? must be taken so that this that sum is 18 that means if we add the ap we are getting a sum of 78 so now let us put down the question uh, what means let, let us write down the things that we have in place so as is all i am going to write this one is first term second term third term and this one is nth term so as the first term that they have given is 24 second term they have given is 21 and here 18 this one we don't know and naming this one is a1 a2 a3 an uh, so this is the data that we have currently in front of us now and one more data that we have is sn they have because as per the question they want that whatever the thing once in what way we are going to add what are the things we are going to add so that we are getting 78 that means they have given Sn is equal to 78 and A1 is 24 and what else we can get? We can, one thing you can see that we can get also the common difference. Okay. We can get the common difference D. So D is equal to, com common difference D is equal to A2 minus A1 that is A2 minus A1 that is 21 minus 24 that is equal to 21 minus 24 or d is equal to i can write minus 3 so you could see that we we currently we have all these things in place sn is 78 a1 is 24 and d is minus 3 now i am going to put the formula a n is equal to uh, a1 plus n minus 1 into d we are going to first utilize this formula because we are going to derive some equations so a n a n is equal to a 1 is 24 plus n minus 1 n we don't know so n minus 1 into minus 3 now i can write a n is equal to 24 minus 3 n plus 3 so minus 3 into n is minus 3 and minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3 or I can write after solving this equation a n is equal to 24 plus 3 is 27 minus 3 n. So guys, let us name this one as equation 1. Similarly, we are going to find out another equation. So we very well know the other equation is sum of, sum of the equation. So like if I write 2 s n is equal to uh, this with n into a1 plus a n uh, this this is the the equation uh, for the uh, sum so now what i'm going to do here is that uh, we know all the values of like i can replace 2 into sn is nothing but 78 that is equal to n n we don't know a1 we know it is 24 plus a n okay or 2 into 78 is nothing but 156 is equal to n into 24 plus a n okay or i can write 24 plus a i can write 24 plus a n is equal to 24 plus a n is equal to 156 divided by n or further i can write uh, 
uh, I can write further I can write a n is equal to uh, 156 by n minus 24. So that is nothing but uh, 156 minus 24 n by n. So let's make it as equation 2. Guys, I believe you are pretty clear till here because one equation we got a n is equal to 27 minus 3 n. Uh, one equation we got is like a n is equal to 27 minus 3 n that is equal to equation 1. If, if you could uh, see here we got a n is equal to this is one equation and this is the second equation. Now we got the both the values of a n a n is equal to this much a n is equal to this much. So we can write now that equation 1 is equal to equation 2. So I can write equation 1 is equal to equation 2 or I can replace the values of equation 1 here 27 minus 3 n is equal to equation 2 value is 156 minus 24 n by n okay so let us now solve these equations so solving this equation what i can get is like i am going to multiply bring this n to this side so i am going we are going to get 27 n minus 3 n square is equal to 156 minus 24 n okay or I can write 27 n 27 n plus 24 n bringing 24 to this side 24 n minus 3 n square minus 156 is equal to uh, let, sorry let, let me put it like this or I can say 156 minus 24 n minus 27 n plus 3 n square is equal to 0 just moving this left hand side to right hand side and making our equation as 0 or after solving this equation I can write in a straight way forward like 3 n square because here we have 3 n square then minus 24 n minus 27 n is what we are getting minus 51 n plus 156 is equal to 0 so guys we uh, got these values of uh, till here we got the values like 3 n square minus 51 n plus 156 is equal to 0 now what I can do you could see that this 3 is common here so like I can move 3 out 3 n square minus and if I solve like 3 1 3 7 ja 21 so 17 n plus 52 is equal to 0 nothing will be wrong here if I move out 3 or I can write or I can write n square minus 17 n plus 52 is equal to 0 or I can write this just solving this equation quadratic equation I can write n square minus so solving this quadratic equation what I can write because 17 n is I can write 13 n minus 4 n plus 52 is equal to 0 because minus 13 n plus minus 4 n is 17 n and if we multiply minus 13 into minus 4 is 52 so that means this equation is correct so again bringing n is common here i can write n minus 13 and here as i have taken n minus 13 is common so i can write n minus 13 and here it is 4 so i can write minus 4 so minus 4 into n is minus 4 n minus 4 into minus 13 is 52 so I can further solve this equation and we could see that we are getting n minus 4 
into n minus 13 that is equal to 0 so guys we are uh, getting two equation two things two value we are going to get two values of n if you very well know that one is n minus 4 is equal to 0 or n is equal to 4 and the second one is n minus 13 is equal to 0 or n is equal to 13 so guys that's all uh, these two are going to be our answer because if we add till four four places of uh, n then uh, till four four places of n we will be getting 78 or if we add till 13 places of n we will be getting uh, 78 so we can say that as the question is asking how many terms we can say that uh, for for till fourth term we are get, getting one if we add fourth term till i can write if we add till fourth term we will get 78 or i can write if we add till 13th term we will get 78 how because uh, some negative values will come in between because if we are till 13th term some negative values will come so it will again equalize the thing and we will be getting 78 hope guys you understood this calculation this calculation is little lengthy because the question is like that only but still if you have any questions or doubts you can reach out to me in the comment section of this video Definitely, I will get back to you once I see your comments. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.